What's up YouTube, back with another video, and I have a very informative video today. I'm going to be teaching y'all how to navigate through the Fonto app. Yes, it's finally here. I don't go too in-depth with it in my cover video, so that's why I'll be doing it today. Before I even get into it, I need y'all to smash that subscribe button, tap that bell notification, leave a comment. Man, y'all know the drift, y'all know what to do. We about to get into this. All right, stick with me. Without further ado, let's begin. Once you tap on the app icon, you're met with the interface. If you tap on the camera icon, you're met with five options. Right now, we're going to tap on the photo albums option, which will allow you to pick a photo from your camera roll. All the images in your camera roll on your iPhone will pop up. When you tap on the image, you'll be able to make, shift, and change the, um, basically just cropping the image. And that's what you can do right here. You see that there is um, a few more options to choose from in this list right here. While I scroll down, you can see that it places it in different positions on a white square backsplash. But we're going to come out of that. And then you are met with more editing options at the bottom here. You have uh, filters that you can use. We're just gonna pick one, use it. Now we're just gonna go ahead and tap on the camera icon again. And as you can see, we're met with the options. This time we're gonna tap on the projects options and then you're met with all the past projects that you've um, created in the past. I'll show you how to save them later. I clicked on one, here's one of them. Right here, you can see it's the um, how to find backgrounds thumbnail that I was working on. But now we're going to replace the image. Ta uh, you tap the replace image option, and I will be able to replace the image with an image from the camera roll, which I just did right there. And then we're going to reset it, which deletes everything, it brings you back to the original interface. And then if we tap restore previous state, you're going to see that everything returns. All right, so now we're going to tap the camera icon again, bring back our options. And now we're just going to tap plain image. It will bring you to um, these uh, this list of images, uh, graphs, and just grids that you can choose from. As I slide through images to all types of things, and these are just stock images that the um, Fonto app has. Here, right here, if when I uh, slide over, you can see my templates. These are just um, uh, backgrounds that I've made to use but we're just gonna create a basic one right here when you tap on the uh, image size numbers you'll be able to change the image size and these are just the pixels sliding down you can see that these are all different um dimensions that you can choose from but we're gonna go ahead and tap on custom and we're gonna make this 3000 by 3000 in pixels that's the dimension we're going to tap the export button and we're going to use this image if when you tap add text you'll be able to add text onto the um background backsplash we're just going to type in something uh, right here we're going to type in hello and then when you tap on the font you'll be able to choose from a wide variety of default fonts these fonts right here uh come with the app and these the, these fonts are all free for you to choose from when you slide over you'll be met with your um, downloaded fonts and these fonts will not be in the default version of Fonto these fonts were all downloaded by me and if you want to know how to download your own fonts I will link a video in the description I got y'all but now you just see I'm in the star section, which is basically just your favorite fonts or the fonts that you use the most. We're out of that. We're going to tap the done button. 
first thing we want to look into is the style and we're going to make this uh the text black so y'all can see what i'm doing <laughs> all right so you can change the sizing right there as you can see it's highlighted yellow so y'all know um what i'm actually tapping on then when you tap on the text you'll be able to edit it that's how i was able to change the sizing um next thing that we want to uh again there there's me playing with the sizing next thing that we're going to want to look into is the tilt and it will allow you to tilt the text to the left and the right either way you um slide the dial right there as you can see it's able to rotate in both directions using the move tool you'll be able to nudge the text ever so slightly if you wanted to just get it in a very specific uh peculiar position this is how you would do so and then with these uh the letter the, the two leather a's that you see at the bottom there are to reposition the text to the center of um the background backsplash as you can see when you tap on it it uh, repositions it and it drags it to the middle uh wherever that is right there into the center right there okay so if we tap on the text again you realize that we can actually slide over and we're met with three more options the curving uh tool allows you to curve the text up and down in both the directions and from there you'll be able to play with the text and if we come back and tap on the 3d tool now you'll be able to play with the three-dimensional view and perspective of the text that we're um seeing right now and if you look at these four little circles yellow circles tapping on them pulling them will allow you to stretch the text and manipulate it howsoever you want as you can see i kind of have the text slanted looking right now to the side but it's not tilted it's a different variation of uh the tilt and curve tool that was shown earlier but tapping into style you'll see that we're met with a more intricate interface but i'm gonna help guide you guys through it you see that there is uh dials red green and blue and those are the dials that you will use to create color patterns and whatnot as you can see when i slide the red up it turns red when i slide the green up it turns green and when i slide the blue up it turns blue when I pull the alpha um, option down, you can see that the opacity or the transparency of the text um, disappears. It gets lighter and lighter until you can no longer see it. And you can also change these using the buttons that you can find to the right of this uh, section. Now we're just going to go ahead and tap on color pattern here where you'll be able to create a more in-depth blend with your colorways and whatnot. As you can see, um, it gave me slots that I can fit colors in and you can tap on the colors that uh, you can see uh, going from white to dark red and you can place them in those little slots found right above them. And then when we tap on character, we're able to change the gradient and the blend. As you can see, it goes from up to down. Next option goes from left to right. We also have side to side and um, right corner to, you know, left corner and whatnot. All types of variations right here. Now, right here is where you can find your saved colorways, which is just any colorways that you have, um, you know, explored and discovered and decided to save. And you can also access it from the original um uh, style editing interface now if we go ahead and slide over the stroke this is where we'll be able to add outline to the text as you can see when I bring the um, slide up on alpha it brings the outline and then you saw I brought the red um, slide dial up 
it made the outline red bring the blue up it makes the outline blue bring the red up as well it creates a purple fuchsia fuchsia color and then uh we're just going to bring the um transparency of the outline back down but they call it stroke and then right here is where you'll be able to play with the width of said stroke you can see it uh, increases the width of the outline creates a little cool effect when the um, outline collides and you can see that you know overlay looking effect of them colliding but going forward now if you tap on if you slide to the background option this is where you'll be able to add background to your text and like I said before sliding the red slide up will make it red and the other colors same way you're met with some more options here at the bottom with height where you can change the um, sizing of your box you can make it to be a rectangle a square whatsoever and then if you tap on ABC fill you are met with um, some background default options that you can choose from if we tap on one of them right here you'll see it in effect it's a, a ribbon here we have a ticket all right now we're gonna slide over to the style and this is where we'll be able to tap on shadow and change um, the shadow effect that to the cover when you see that we slide the alpha slide up a uh, shadow emerges and then playing with the blur we can uh, adjust the um, you know the visibility of that shadow playing with the X and Y will change the positioning that you have the um, shadow in as you can see and yeah you can go from there these colors that you see at the bottom right under the Y slide is a uh, allows you to change the background as you can see tapping on red allows you to change the background to a red color and then you can just adjust the settings just like that pulling up our saved colorways just like that sliding over to spacing will allow you to change the spacing of the um, lettering right there you can space it out and you can also move it up and down sliding over to underline will allow you to add a underline to your text they have um, a few default options to choose from. And then finally tapping on, or should I say sliding over to the blend tool, you are able to change basically the overlay and just um, of your text. Very different options to choose from there you can't really go in too in depth with them right now because it's not too much contrast with the white and black background but i might make a video a uh, future video on that y'all let me know if that's something that y'all might be interested in anyways tapping on the export option uh will allow you to be met with an interface where you can either save your image which will export it to your camera roll save image as png which is if you have a transparent background and you want to keep it save project which is how you saw all those save projects that i had in the beginning open another app which will redirect you and then preview which shows you the cover and that's about it that is fonto right there if y'all like this video man smash that subscribe button tap that bell notification like this video and leave a comment bro if you like these tutorials these in-depth explanations of apps and how they work and just the in and outs of them 
let me know and i might think of dropping future content like this in the future <laughs> that's all guys and i'm out